Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I'm here to give you guys an update on my amazing avocado tree, my Haas avocado. Um, it's been raining and we actually even got some snow here, which is very crazy for us to get some snow in the area that I live. But I know a lot of you across California have gotten some crazy weather. When I've had, but I've had a lot of requests about my avocado. So now that it's sunny for the first time in a long time, I decided to come out here right in the afternoon because that's when this tree gets the most sun and there's some light out here. And as you can see, the tree, despite the crazy weather we've had, is doing amazing. Look at the leaves. They are as big as my hand. Ginormous. The trunk is actually getting thicker and i'm um, gonna actually that's gonna be one of my first things that i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch the container from this plastic wine barrel to an actual wooden wine barrel and that's because they're a lot bigger of i would say about a quarter bigger than this um and as you guys can see it's doing fantastic i did want to touch bases on some things when it comes to my avocado tree it's sitting here right next to my house it's actually on the north um, side of my house which doesn't get a lot of sun um, and unfortunately for this tree I had to do this because I tried putting it on the south side and it was getting too much sun and the leaves were burning and it was not liking it and also they're sensitive to frost so frost and sunburn was the two major things I was concerned about this tree so I decided to move it to the north side of my um, house and it loved it as you guys can see it hasn't stopped growing I um, took the tip off the head uh, off the trunk I guess beheaded it I don't know if you can name it for a tree but that's so that way it can start getting wider and it can stop growing up because I do not want a big tall tree especially because I'm going to keep it in a container and also because at the time I was moving it back and forth into my garage because I was protecting it until it grew bigger and it could fend for itself at this point it's too big for me to drag it into the garage and I think Considering um, the crazy weather that we've had over the last few weeks, uh, I think it's going to be totally fine. We even had some snow and hail um, just a few days ago, and it's fine. Uh, it has a little bit of frostbite there, as you can see, but that's fine. I mean, I would say only less than 10% of these leaves got damaged, and everything else seems to be doing great so you guys can see I mean the leaves used to all look this way tiny and tender and very light and now as you can see they're very thick they're green and they're as big as my hand look at this one this one's even bigger than my hand and I know um, you guys have been asking about this tree so I just wanted to come out here and show you guys how well it's growing and let's see the trunk it's pretty big i would say maybe about an inch in thickness i have tons of mulch and it's really really loving it it's you can see there's some moisture in here so it's doing fantastic guys i know um this is <laughs> You guys have been wanting to know because you guys know how hard it is to grow avocados, especially in containers, uh, especially in, in this area and in Zone 9B. That's where um, the zone I'm in. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I love it when you guys request for videos because um, that gives me ideas on what to talk about and what, what to show you guys because I can honestly talk for hours about every single um, plant and tree in my garden but sometimes I don't know if you guys want to hear about it or not. So when you guys request videos like this, um, it definitely encourages me to get them done and to show you guys what's going on in my garden. and. Um, this is growing like look these branches are actually pretty thick considering it's only been a year since it started growing when I first got this tree it was about this tall let me step back so it was about that tall right there 
and it's gotten a lot taller and if i wouldn't have cut the tip of the tree i don't know if you guys can see right there right there um, it would have probably kept growing taller so the idea now is for me to put it in a bigger container and hopefully it starts branching out and the branches get thicker and maybe we might even get some flowers this upcoming season um, since this is the first time growing this has avocado I do not know when it's the normal time for it to flower so um, we will find out together because I'll definitely make a video if I see signs of flowering if you guys are growing this and you guys do know when we get flowers please leave it in the comments down below other than that guys I think that's pretty much it you guys can see that the avocado tree is doing fantastic don't be afraid to ask questions and if you guys have some information for me I would love to hear any comments and suggestions um, that's it guys I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's Friday. We're going to have a good weekend. And hopefully I'm going to continue to do some more videos. All right. But I guess now that I'm saying goodbye, I do want to give you guys a sneak peek of something that is doing amazing. And I should probably harvest these humongous orange. Once again, guys, I know I've made videos about this, but it's growing in a container. You guys can see that. And it's pretty loaded with oranges. Look at that. Alright guys, well that's it. Uh, I hope you guys have a good one. And I hope that, um, to hear from you guys. And I'm just so excited to be out here in the garden because it's been raining. It's been, I usually get off of work late. I'm home today and I'm able to be in the garden. I had lunch in my courtyard today. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably saw that. But it's just such a pretty day and I'm so excited to, to be out here. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.